Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Not a bad film, actually. Didn't see the sequels. What the? F I, I need light. I need a flashlight. I need candle power. I mean, do you see anything in there? Okay. I guess I have a flashlight. Shift, I just began the game about five, six minutes ago. I um, saw a video from a panicked friend. Now I've gone to uh, try to reunite with her after her three-year disappearance. I just discovered her purse and her driver's license in the purse. And uh, I'm about to go get... Uh, select an item to use. What the fuck? Email from Mia, driver's license. Uh, I need a key. Maggots, little mealworms, nasty, nasty. <sighs> the hell's that? Like a crow? Jason Voorhees' his mom will be in here. Trying to make the movement as smooth as possible so as to not drive you crazy, but I'm literally in the dark. What is that? Oh, hell no. Can't really see myself. Any supplies? I, I know I need a key for the lock in the other room. Or something to pick the lock with. Say yes if you want me to go upstairs. Never mind. Going upstairs. What is that? Select a slot to save my game. Shit. Yes, please. There will look house footage. So I guess I'm looking for a VCR now, huh? It's a closet with nothing in it. Second is where we're headed. 
Now, was this open earlier? I think not. That's just lame is what that is. Bad storytelling. Hmm. Piano's scary. Scary. Hmm. Something bad happened here. Clancy Javis. Javis? Abandoned house. Boo. Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Ecstatic. Yeah, I kind of want this guy to get eaten. We had this experience, um, I, it's weird that I admit this to you, we were watching American Crime Story, the assassination of Gianni Versace. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. And uh, the guy who played Andrew Cunanan played him so effectively and so chillingly and he was so repulsive and you just dreaded him so much. There was a point where we were looking at the television, and I said to Natalie, I said, is it bad that I want him to die right here? Like, so, he was having an argument with time? his father, his violent you father. What's like, the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds? Ooh, is it haunted? I kind of want this guy to get it. Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Hole in the floor. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family. Hands from the attic. Suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backwards. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre! Andre! Andre. Clancy, you see where Andre went? He went into the next world. Clancy! Unfucking believable! This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me.
the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. The only reason I'm following him is because I don't want to be alone. And because I'm kind of curious to see if he gets it. Nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. What do you see? What is it? Blair Witch. Jesus. Jesus. Guess we have to go to the fireplace, don't we? Oh, look, I need to find fuses. You know what I don't have? Fuses. All right, am I going to do the fireplace thing? This is the kind of shit that I yell at people in horror movies for doing. You know? What are you, what are you doing? Why would you go there? Why not run out of the building? What are you thinking? Are you mad? Are you insane? Damn it. Damn it. an interesting place to keep wine. <sighs> Things under the water. Something's going to be under the water. Did I call that? Did I just call that? So what did one cemetery corpse say to the other cemetery corpse? Hey, what's eating you? Sorry.
Ben dead. Harold turned. All these people turned or dead. Gotta be zombies. Gotta be zombies. Zombies are scary. Ooh, bolt cutters. I guess I'll use that on the cabinet upstairs. Nasty. Props to the game makers, to the producers of, uh, of this particular game for just the level of detail in the environments. Knowing that we'll just fly right by most of this stuff. I mean, that's... It is not wasted on me, my friends. Props for a job well done. That is really something. Are those? Mia? Mia? It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you all right? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Matt was just on the wall. Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! This reminds me of quarantine. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? I gotta take a shot of this, hang on. Has it really been three years? Turn around, turn around. I'll tell you why in a second. What is this place? What they do to you. do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. For some reason, occasionally when she looks at the camera, she reminds me a little bit of my friend and fellow activist, Tracy Moody. I'm going to send this shot to her and say, hey, Tracy, you and I are escaping a... Um, I don't even know what we're escaping. J.T. Eberhard. Good morning, my brother. Happy birthday, my friend. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. You played this, J.T.? No. You know it's storming outside, right? I remember. Should I have chosen easy instead of normal? You know I'm a newbie, right? There. It's there. This is it. JT offered to teach me how to sing once. I spared I the poor room. man. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. I told him. You can't put in what God left out. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, 
we're gonna be a family now that you're here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Ew. It's Grandpa from uh, Texas Chainsaw. E-001. Or 001. All right, so Tracy Moody just told me that there's another door. I trust Tracy. Sorry, guys. I tend to look around. I don't know if I look around too much or not enough. Oh, fuck no. Lord, we ask that you protect us in our hour of need. That you reach down. Keep them damn zombies away from us. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear not the unholy undead. For you are with me. Your drawers and your sheets, they comfort me. Your lamps and your windows, they guideth me. Your toilets relieve me. First aid, yeah, gonna need that. First aid, yeah, gonna need that. What the f what's in there? Somebody sing a happy song. Somebody lighten the mood just a little bit. And lo, I descended into the depths. My eyes closed. Tracy Moody. Oh, fuck. Resist. Oh, my God. Would you stay and hang with Mia, or after she'd try to execute you, would you just say, I'm sorry, honey, but... <sighs> the thing with the machete was pretty effective. Um, 
You guys ever see, um, God, what's that movie? The one with the uh, tall building and the uh, SWAT team goes up to take out the crime gang. Oh, shit. I've got the, I, I own the movie and I can't think of it. Um, redem uh, the Raid, Redemption. There's a scene where the guy is hiding behind a false wall and a dude jamming a machete in. And the thing's like piercing his body and going into his face and he cannot scream, he cannot call out. He's completely helpless to express any sort of uh, response. Oh, what the fuck am I doing here? You guys would all just leave her there on the ground? We're better friends than that, aren't we? Never mind. The Raid Redemption. One of the best and most violent action movies I've ever seen in my life. An axe! Attack! My, this is just wrong. Aren't we friends? Aren't we friends? Oh shit! I ha I really have. I'm conflicted about this. Sorry, Tracy. You can't kill an undead, right? Is she a zombie? Because they're already dead. Um. Hi, this is an important call from Google. this? You know, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Go to the attic. What just opened? You ever have a song, not even really a song, television jingle stuck in your head? Natalie and I were talking about some of those old commercials. Anybody old enough to remember this one? C and H. Pure cane sugar. From Hawaii. Growing in the sun. All day, I've been singing it. Oh shit, I gotta find a fuse. Okay. Alright, well I have bolt cutters. Let's go back down to that, um, that first cabinet that was chained. I mean, I can't sing well, JT. I sing to the radio and stuff, but I'm, I'm very self-conscious about it. I used to sing bass and choir. And there was all of these angelic uh, voices all around me. I sounded like an old Volkswagen. Look, it's a fees.
I'm still trying to do the Outlast 2 controls. <laughs> um, hmm. You know, from the looks of the place, I think we've got grounds to break our lease. I'm just saying. Just call the landlord and tell him. You're not holding up your end, pal. Oh, fuck. I gotta go down to the, to the fuse room. Yeah, we could probably afford this place. Of course, the doctor's bills from... Uh, from all of the disease we pick up, the, whatever we're breathing in. Where was that fuse box? Do you remember? Forgive me, I, can, I cannot remember. Ah, uh, yeah, it was in the TV room. Can't fuse. I can't use that here. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to use the first aid kit on the uh, fuse box. Yeah, yeah, noob gamer mistake. Sorry. Tracy Moody. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that! <laughs> it's fucking hard! Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Screwdriver versus a chainsaw. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I'm going to play the rest of the game without a left hand. Tourniquet. Tourniquet. Uh, uh, uh. Wasn't there a cloth or something? Or a. <laughs> am I just. Am I just squeezing the, the wrist? Oh, I need a tourniquet. I need something to put on this thing. I don't think my first aid. Uh, I don't think my first aid liquid's going to work. <laughs> Oh my god, she actually cut off my hand. I guess I'm just going to go up the stairs. Like nothing not, nothing ever happened. Let's see, where are the stairs? Back this way? No. C and H, pure cane sugar from Hawaii, growing in the sun. How do we rationalize this? How do we reason through the uh, the game's assertion that we are now? just walking nonchalantly relatively speaking nonchalantly through a house with arterial spray not flying out of our left wrist oh look it's green you heard what one chainsaw victim said to the other chainsaw victim didn't you 
looked at him and said, I'm stumped. Handgun. M nineteen. Okay, fine. Fine. Aim. Attack. Oh, hell no. Good point, JT. You need a hand for a handgun. This is a right hand gun. So they're not zombies if they respond to weaponry, right? They're like pod people. Like they go to Joel Osteen's church every Sunday. You know, they just came this morning from early service. Now they're all wacky. Oh, hell no. That's John Hagee's church right there. That's how they all look like when they come out. Ladder. What the f God. I have to do this. Reload. Reload. Nonchalantly reload. Oh my God. Delayed scream. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, one more and then I'm going to get up and get around and have my coffee. Mia's dangerous when she goes berserk. Master of the Obvious continues. Alright. Subtitle of Resident Evil 7. Stumpy kills his friends. Okay, fine. And I actually have time to administer first aid while she's accosting me with a chainsaw. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're going to try something different. Instead of going up the ladder first, I'm going to go down the um, whatever the hall, see if there's another option. John Hagee's church. Like, how do you reload a pistol with one hand? How do you do that? How do you fill the magazine with one hand? God damn it. I've got to get through that scene, don't I? They're going to make me do battle with my former friend. Oh, shit. I just one button. <laughs> Let's get this over with. You ready? All right, all right, all right, all right. Administer first aid. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Reload. Are you 
don't understand. God. Point blank range, I've missed her three times. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> First aid. First aid. Everyone is relying on me. Everyone. Reload. I need your prayers. Ammo. Ammo? Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Stop it! Shit. One more time. One more time. All right, obviously I need to come back into this room. I can't effectively use the boxes as kind of a barrier between me and a chainsaw-wielding friend. Any advice, my friends? Like, I want to go to the Walgreens and buy the liquid that will heal any wound on contact. Like, will it grow me a new hand? Have you seen the commercials for this gun and ammo? It's like, you know, when you need to shoot your friends, there's no better. Okay, fine. Fine. She doesn't talk much, but she's a great listener. Wow. Okay, there's some pretty big lightning around me, and I'm actually thinking it's stupid to have headphones on. There's a, a guy's in a radio station in a little town here near here called Claremore, and they were um, doing a radio broadcast. Woo! And had uh, headsets on, and were struck, made the news. I'm gonna check the radar real fast. This would be just a, like a Darwin Award if this is how I die. My favorite part is when you see the radar and then it tells you 30% chance of light rain. See all that red? See it? Thirty percent chance of light rain today. Ooh. Damn it. It's up to me. All right, where is she? God, I'm the worst shot. I right, look, look, see that? How many headshots is that? Two. Three. I love you too. Woo! Thunder. Can you guys hear that through the microphone? Wow. And here's Henry. Let's pause. This is my dog. 
He has storm anxiety. He is terrified. He's terrified of the storms. And so he is up here trying to get up on my chair where it's safe. You go, boy. You're so brave. You're going to be so brave. Yeah, ain't nothing to be scared of. He's shaking. His eyes are wide. His heart's going about a thousand miles an hour. You okay, pal? He's such a good boy. Ain't no reason to be scared. Ain't no reason to be scared. Ain't no reason to be scared. Yeah, the lightning's right on top of my house, my friends. So I think for safety's sake, I'm going to go ahead and unplug. Uh, we'll try this again in just a little bit.